here. My name is Travis. I'm from uh, Man well, Preston. It's near Manchester in England. I came over uh, not yesterday, the day before, and had the operation uh, yesterday. And then they've took the bandages off today, which I'm very pleased about. Um, I first heard about Istanbul through one of my uh, friends who's a tattoo artist who does me tattoos. As you can see, I'm covered in them. He was actually going to come over with me before the pandemic uh, happened and then Turkey went on the red list. So we had it booked in and then it got cancelled. Um, so I've come over after Turkey's been took off the red list and I'm able to go back home and not quarantine. So we've come, come over. So first of all, I was greeted at the uh, airport of Istanbul. Um, the driver uh, greeted me there with my name card and he took me to the uh, Mercedes shuttle bus where they took me. Uh, to this hotel. Um, on the way there, he had a conversation with me um, and explained any questions that I asked him, uh, which he was very informative. And then once we got to the hotel, it was quite late at night, it was about seven, seven o'clock. Um, he recommended some good restaurants to go to and there is a shopping mall right next door, right next door to the uh, hotel. So I went to the shopping mall. Um, he recommended get a zip up hoodie for tomorrow. So when you have the operation, you can take it off instead of taking the uh, t-shirt off over your head. So I went and did a bit of shopping, had some food, uh, went to sleep, woke up in the morning, uh, which they took me to the uh, clinic to uh, at about half 11. So uh, once we got to the clinic, I was meted, uh, greeted by the owner of her Istanbul, which was very nice to meet the actual person. He's only about in his mid thirties, uh, which is a very successful man. It's nice to see someone of his age being so successful. So we had the consultation, he drew on my hairline um, and marked out areas where the hair was thin in my head. Uh, we agreed on what, what, what areas that I wanted in the hairline, which I didn't want a complete straight hairline. He was managed to do it how I wanted it, um, which I was pleased about. Uh, after that, uh, they explained to me the procedure, what was going to be done, uh, where they take the grafts and then you stop for lunch and then they put the grafts back in your head. Uh, I was in there for a total of eight hours. Um, throughout that time, um, they hooked me up to the IV drip and we had a anesthesia there uh, at all times, which was very good. I found you uh, through Instagram, so that's that's the first place that I found you. My mate sent a link to uh, to me through Instagram, so I had a look um, at the different procedures that you've done on people and the changes that you made. So like, it looks like different people uh, on your Instagram when you've when you've done it. I'd had a look at um, hair transplants before in the UK, which they was very, very expensive for the amount of grafts that you got, and I wanted the full, full head doing. Um, and I'd looked at the page, and I'd seen that it is a complete transformation that they do, um, and you do a very good job. Um, I'd looked at other um, companies in uh, Turkey that do hair transplants, but obviously, Hair of Istanbul, that is all you specialise in, is hair transplants, where other, other companies will do very uh, a lot of different operations where you guys just specialize in hair transplants and you have a lot of good reviews on uh, Google which um, I had a look through I think the only bad reviews that you have is uh, where it says about the price but if you're paying paying for the top service you will pay good money for it you know so that that is why I chose yourselves to go with uh, I think for me um, the hair transplant I, it had always been something that I wanted to do like I had receding going back there so but I was able to style it in a way that you, that you couldn't see it um, but if you go out for a night out and the wind blows it or you get a picture and like your hair's all over the place it just wasn't that good so it always been in the back of my mind to get it done um, and I was constantly if I'm going out touching my hair trying to cover it up but now obviously once it grows out I'll have that confidence um, and I think it's well worth doing for the money that you pay it's the service is 10 out of 10 which i don't usually say that but it is a very good service that you guys provide and i'm very happy with uh, the procedure and everything about it um, the translators are there um, all the time to give you information